yeah and basically sometimes we need to be guilt tripped you know sometimes we need to be told well all the time we need to be told i'm not talking about sometimes all the time we need to be told that you know we could be doing more with our lives yeah stop being lazy yeah because there's people who would love to be in our position healthy body healthy mind yeah healthy brain and they can't do the things that we can do you know just that little stupid stuff that we take for granted like just being able to go out and even go jogging walk to the street yeah walk down walk down the street go to the shop call your brethren you know, there's people who are in positions who cannot do that yeah for whatever reason they might be held captive in someone's fucking basement they might be in a wheelchair they might be dead yeah? so anyway there's a there's a lady called a step ahead that's the name of her youtube channel obviously i ain't gonna read the whole comment because she left a nice long comment but it was one of the nicest comments it's one of the best comments i've ever received on my channel still so she basically said wow this spoke directly to my heart right when I needed to hear an absolute brilliant speech and that, well, come on, man, come on. Don't, don't worry, guys, listen, man. I will be on stage in front of thousands of people one day, yeah, because I just feel like, like, I see other people's, like, motivational speeches, in it. Like, I love people like Steve Harvey and, and that, yeah, but, like, I think that there needs to be a new, like, a, a new wave of, of motivational speakers. Now, there must be young motivational speakers out there and stuff, in it, but, I just think that like a lot of motivational speakers, they don't really come from the lifestyle that I've lived. Yeah. Like a lot of these people, they're good people, whatever, and they may have grew up in like rough areas and maybe seen some stuff, but I don't think that they was really in it like that. Now I'm not taking any credit from them, yeah, because I don't know these people like that. I ain't studied their, you know, their background. I just listened to their motivational um, speeches, and I'm not even talking about Steve Harvey, just anyone in general, you know, but I think that most people who do all these motivational speeches and that, they ain't lived the lifestyle that I've lived, yeah. not saying that there aren't people out there who do motivational speeches, yeah, I'm just putting it out there, but I just think that most people, they ain't been in the wars and the battle, they ain't been, like, I've only been to jail for eight weeks in a but. I've been in the system, yeah? I know what it's like, yeah? I feel like a lot of these people probably ain't experienced that. Now, again, I'm not taking any credit away from them, but sometimes I feel like this kind of talk, this kind of chat needs to come from someone who's come from the street, yeah? someone who's come from a poor family. A lot of these motivational speakers, they do come from poor families. Yeah? Even if they didn't come from a poor family, they was poor at one time. Man talking about man living in cars and all that kind of shit. I'm like, bro, like, could I imagine living in my fucking Honda Civic? Yeah? No way, fam. No way. Anyway, so she said that basically this, uh, this video touched her or whatever. And then she messaged me saying, uh, she messaged, she left a comment saying, I woke up today and decided I can blast through my hurdles effortlessly. I'm about to go and do some serious physical work in my home that's long overdue needed, long overdue and needed. Then I found this video, it kicked my butt even further. So I'm saying we need a good arse whooping from time to time.